Hello again, in this video I'll show you how to fix the main problem of most LCD TVs and LCD monitors. There are lots of symptoms, such as blinking power LED, making a clicking sound, cycling on and off or other similar problems. Then in 90% cases it may need some new capacitors. LCD monitors are all more or less the same. So let's open it up. There is no any screws, we just need to remove this front panel with plastic clips. Panel this metal shielding covers four backlight connectors. It doesn't matter how you connect them. Okay, so here we can see the main board and the power supply board. Oh, here we go. As you can see, one capacitor doesn't look right. These capacitors have nice flat surface and this one is bulged at the top. A dead capacitor is indicated by a bulge at the top, often with a leak of brownish dielectric liquid. This black area is the negative side of the cap. This type of caps have polarity, so make sure that this stripe goes to the black negative side. This cap has a maximum voltage rating of 10 volts and a nominal capacitance value of 1000 microfarad. You can buy some new caps or find use in any PCs or laptops power supplies. Never go down with capacitors values, especially voltage. You can use caps with higher capacitance and voltage, but make sure that they physically fit to the board. These caps have the same capacitance, but different voltage values, 16 and bigger one, 25 volts. Now I'm gonna unsolder this cap. Move it back and forth with your finger until you get it out.
So I replaced one capacitor in the power supply board. 10 minute work and 50 cent cap and we have a working LCD monitor.